All right, I'm going to make a little comment really quick about uh, George Santos. George Santos. It looks like they're going to kick him out of Congress, even though there's people that are far more corrupt than him. So what did George Santos do uh, to merit you know, the, him being the whole government, basically, you know, the whole media structure going after him? Well, he won in, a, in New York City, or New York State, or in, a, in a deep blue area. He's Hispanic, and uh, leftists want to, you know, they believe that uh, uh, what they perceive as racial minorities, like Hispanics and blacks, are obligated to support them. It's like they're enslaved, and that's their, their duty. For, so for a Hispanic or a black person to renege on their obligation to support the Democrat Party, that such a person must be punished by them. And that's what they do. They'll destroy you. So he's also a threat, right? I mean, when he's a... Uh, oh my goodness, one of these uppity Hispanics, how dare they challenge our power and our authority? Uh, if we don't crush George Santos, more Hispanics could uh, follow this Pied Piper. So uh, even though there's far more corrupt, I mean, I think the Republican Party should rally around George Santos um, and support him and not let them take our, our person down. Of course, they're not going to do that. We don't, unfortunately. Because... Um, after Bill Clinton, you know, it's not about an affair as much as it was about, you know, illegality, committing perjury, suborning perjury. I mean, just, yeah, it is, it's inappropriate. He's president of the United States, he's a married man, and he's having an affair with a, uh, well, I guess she's 20 years old, maybe, but, or when did she become an intern? She's like a 19-year-old, and he's having sex with a teenage girl. As president of the United States, and he lies about it, he asks, tells her, as the chief exec executive, Tells her to lie under oath. And, you know, Democrats are okay with that. And then we have the Hunter Biden laptop that shows, you know, prostitution, sex trafficking, bribery, corruption, the highest levels, criminal, you know, federal crimes. And, uh, and then we have evidence of Biden committing bribery. Oh, yeah, we have the check. <laughs> James Biden to Hunter, Hunter uh, to uh, Joe Biden, a check for a so called loan, which is obviously some kind of a, you know, our foreign adversaries paying Joe Biden off. Oh, well, it's just, you know, they dismiss all this evidence. I mean, if, if uh, Don Jr. or Eric Trump or uh, Ivanka had, had done anything like, uh, uh, like Hunter Biden had done, you know, they'd be in jail. You know, but just like, well, look what they're doing to Trump over what? Classified documents. It's laughable. It's absurd. Um, so, and then it's like, what, you know, the things that, you know, misappropriation of funds that Maxwell, uh, was it, um, Congressman Maxine Waters and, and others have done. Or look here, it's going on in Harris County with, with Judge Hidalgo. They don't care about that. But if a Republican sees the, the two-tiered system of justice. So until we have equal justice under law, if it's just going to be, this is our, you know, you know, we're, the Democrats are going to support Clinton no matter what he did. Or we're going to support Hunter no matter what he did. We're going to support Joe Biden no matter what he did then perhaps Republicans should, you know, um, protect our own as well. Uh, and, and, you know, we need to fight back and push back against the Democrats. Of course, we need to have moral standards, but these people don't. And if they're not going to, we're not going to allow them to, you know, fake us out. The real reason why they're going after George Santos is because he's a conservative Republican and he's Hispanic and he's from New York. And, uh, you know, they got it. They're, they're, they, they don't want to lose their blue states. They don't, and they don't want... You know, they, they think they have the right to control what they view as ethnic minorities. How dare you challenge us as Hispanic? We're going to get you. That's what it's about. So um, we need to stand up against this. Of course, it's, it's, you know, he says he's not going to run again. Now they're going to try to evict him from Congress. But uh, it's time Republicans start fighting back and uh, use the same tactics that the Democrats use and use their own tactics against them. Um, because, uh, you know, Democrats play for keeps, and, and Republicans seemingly don't get the picture of what's going on. They're playing patty cake uh, while, you know, our nation's dying. And, and that's why it's a good system for Democrats, and uh, that's why I don't like Donald Trump. The, the fundamental issue with Donald Trump is he he fights back, and he's pushing a conservative agenda. He's not like the Bushes, the McCains, the Cheneys, uh, you know, the rhinos. He's, you know, he's actually advancing conservatism. They, they can't have that. They have to destroy him. Uh, and all these fake Republicans that are helping the Democrats slowly build their Marxist totalitarian police state. Um, 
you know, it's like, you know, the game's over. We're going to get Trump in there, and, we're, and we need we need a new type of Republican, Trump Republicans, who are willing to fight back against Republicans, who are Republicans in name only, against the Democrat Party, to save our constitutional republic, which they're trying to destroy. So uh, don't give in to this nonsense about George Santos. It's really that he's Hispanic. He's uh, He won in New York. That's all this is about. So uh, we should... Uh, push back against this nonsense and and uh, hopefully we'll, our eyes will be open we'll wake up and we'll start fighting back because uh, and then we're losing a seat there's such a narrow republican majority and they're gonna you know, <laughs> lose a republican that we need in there and i wish that the speaker would uh, uh take action to uh because it does you know we can't let the, we can't let this this go on they've done this before tom delay um and, and, and others, uh, what was her name? Michelle Bachman, you know, they, they do, they engage in lawfare and go after you. And it's not really about any of this, this, this stuff, just like, uh, uh, what's going on with president Trump right now. All this is piddling nonsense. And the only reason why they're going after him is they're trying to sway the outcome of the election. You know, they didn't like, um, Tom DeLay was effective. So they had to take him down. Uh, Bachman was effective. They went even, they even went against the, uh, engaged in, in lawfare against uh, what's her name this female senator we had from Texas a while she's kind of moderate but she wasn't all that bad and uh, they tried to go against her at least her, her uh, engaging in, in lawfare uh, early in her uh, political career as, as you know candidate for senator and, and, and senator so uh, the Democrats are ruthless and, and we don't fight back and that's got to change we've got to fight back back and we need to start defending our own so consider that open your eyes wake up and let's start fighting so thank you and god bless you Thank you for the victory.